Hello everyone and now welcome to a game of Yumiko vs 120 this game taking place here on Echo Isle on the top right hand side of the map we have Yumiko spawning as the blue human meanwhile on the top left hand side of the map we have 120 spawning as the yellow undead undead versus human just gonna get to that two minute mark heroes out on the battlefield and we can start figuring out what the strategies are going to be it is going to be an archmage versus a dreadlord first interestingly enough carry on swarm having become very very popular as of late to try and deal with those uh, well fly machines um fly machines in that fly machine knight combination Archmage is going to go ahead and clear out of this creep camp here at the 3 o'clock spot. Meanwhile, Dreadlord already on the move out across here. Going to try and go after... Well, not quite sure what it's trying to go after here. All right, Yumiko actually stealing the Forest Troll Shadow Priest and will be able to get away with it. Meanwhile, we're looking at the Dreadlord doing a quick sleep on the Ogre Magi. Can I easily clear out of this creep camp here and perhaps try and set up an expo? The Archmage is sitting at level 1 trying to put pressure on this base already. Is it going to be able to do that? That is the question as we see a sleep quickly go down onto Yumiko's peasant. Or uh, Yumiko's Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Yum Forest Troll Shadow Priest trying to get away down to 41 hit points. Down to 16. Will it be able to get away? No. Taken down by the Ogre Magi. Beautifully done by 120. And now Yumiko is here to try and put in a little bit more pressure again. Alright, Skeletal Minion going to get perhaps get cleaned up by the Archmage here, a little fireball, a little love tap to take down that skeletal warrior there. Is it going to go down here? Who's going to get the experience? Dreadlord gets it. And now there's even still this Acolyte um, who is trying to stay alive while on bite. Oh, beautifully done. Using a Ziggurat push to try to get a little bit of separation. But while that Acolyte is off of Blight, it doesn't have any regeneration at all. And it's easily cleaned up. <coughs> Meanwhile, 120 with a very large, well, prop up army of mass ghouls and some skeletal minions. Tech to tier two already done by Yumiko, who is now at level two as well. <coughs> wow, my throat is not participating with casting today. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what is gonna unfold in this 1v1 matchup? Dreadlord making its way across here. Gonna try and clear out this Ogre Magi creep camp on the far side. Meanwhile, the expo most attack. likely will just get cancelled. Dreadlord is gonna be able to clear out some a pretty easy or a, a pretty powerful creep camps here. Perhaps even try and get to level three. And if he's able to get to level three, level two carry on swarm is a definite problem. We also see that there is the upgrade to tier two already. The Necropolis down over here has been cancelled. And the Dreadlord could try and take this opportunity to just clear out creep camps, knowing that the Archmage um, perhaps is doing a similar thing as well. Is that Acolyte going to end up getting Players taken down here or oh, trying to hide in the very far back, aggroing and getting finished off there? Dreadlord still going after the Ogre Mauler creep camp here. Forest Troll Berserker going to get cleaned up. Another low hit point ghoul going to return back to home rotating uh, the ghouls to make sure that there is plenty of healing going on passively for all those units <coughs> level three has been reached crystal ball picked up there that c new consumable crystal ball that has two charges not as high on the drop table but um well Perhaps we'll actually see both charges used as we're now looking at the Dreadlord making its way across here. Are we going to look at a carry-on swarm? No carry-on swarm, even though all of the units were tightly packed together. Tech to Tier 2 about halfway done. Meanwhile, Yumiko already at Please Tier 2 as well, but not getting up a Mountain King or a Hero just quite yet. No carry-on swarm ripping through. Maxed out on mana. That comes as a surprise and shock as the Dreadlord could have, well, racked up quite a bit of damage here. Tech to Tier 2 still on its way here. F no Mountain King. Perhaps we're going to be looking at a Tavern Hero. Archmage running by the Tavern here. Perhaps a Panda? No, an Alchemist as the follow-up hero with that healing spray. <laughs> All right. Go Goblin Alchemist with healing spray. Archmage here. Um, the healing spray should be a strong counter to, um, to that carry-on swarm. And... Um, 
but I am wondering if it's going to be able to go that distance. Skeletal Minion still doing a bit of scouting here. Tech to Tier 2 nearly done. Meanwhile, Arcane Sanctum number 1 is nearly done as well. But Yumiko's base actually looks rather sparse. I mean, there isn't that many production buildings. We can see that he's sitting on 375 gold. It does have a blacksmith up and is training up riflemen. Perhaps that will be enough there as healing spray keeping um, some of these units alive. All right, Water Elemental. Um, one, can they get pummeled down? A second Water Elemental quickly gets ensnared here. A lot of bloodlusted units because of that Ogre Magi as the Archmage gets up to level 3. Meanwhile, a Dreadlord very close by has nearly 400 mana. Is he going to try to go for a Carry On Swarm and perhaps not try to start swiping down some units? Not quite sure why he hasn't really used any of his abilities yet as we are looking at a farm scout farm down over here by yumiko to keep track of that expo all right dreadlord could have at least put pressure thinned out makes sh making sure to rack up a little bit of damage on these units and then try to trade a damage with attrition there's a nice lined up shot there as the ghouls are now retreating back and there's that alchemist trying to counteract that there we can see one a mana stealing two charges onto that dreadlord as the dreadlord does another carry on swarm there's a death coil dreadlord up to level four as that that building taken down quickly both sides still fighting their way through we do not see a slaughterhouse no slaughterhouse being built off to the side alchemist now sitting at level two fight on blight 120 with a level four dreadlord that wanda mana stealing really um, well, taking a toll on the dreadlord there as the dreadlord had lost 130 mana and the alchemist gained 130 allowing for more healing sprays rifleman able to clearly get shots off onto those ghouls there meanwhile dreadlord still continuing this fight has a bit of mana and perhaps for another carry on swarm as the low hit point ghouls are trying to retreat back guard towers or scout towers are not getting added in there's a slaughterhouse there's a carry on swarm and that is a lot of damage suddenly to be had the dreadlord down to a, a well 15 mana and uh, we see the death knight in a little bit of trouble is he going to get finished off yes he will he gets taken down there's a pendant of energy um and coupled with the potion of mana to try and rack up um, a little bit more mana here as we see some low hit point units looking to fall back again and again meanwhile priests are out here on the battlefield they're able to get in some heals 35 supply compared to 48 yumiko's timing on this attack absolutely perfect taking down but however um, well yumiko losing two footmen right there as the dreadlord still stays at level four death knight trying to make his way back out onto the battlefield no obs or one obsidian statue has made its way out but that quickly got targeted and now is being forced to retreat back again slaughterhouse getting repaired a death knight now on the battlefield are we going to see that slaughterhouse perhaps try and double back around not quite sure where it can really go as uh, there's problems as scout towers are already upgrading to arcane towers here dreadlord now trying to pull back as the archmage rifleman push this is a classic rifleman caster push that i do not believe um well 120 was expecting at all Perhaps the additional Wand of Mana Stealing shutting down that Dreadlord's casting ability for that level 2 carry on swarm and well, turned out to be a large amount of damage. Meanwhile, Arcane Towers are on now online, able to put a pressure. And as Yumiko is sieging his opponent, 1 to 20, perhaps just unaware or not sure how to actually handle this. We are at Black Citadel. Uh, Obsidian Statue was able to make it all the way around the map as we see a carry on swarm rip through again. Arcane the Tower. <coughs> and, uh, Arcane the Towers are draining the mana out of that Dreadlord. Dreadlord is trying to fight his way through, finishing off a couple of peasants as the Dreadlord now tries to back away. He's actually trapped between a rock and a hard place, unable to break out of this spot easily. All right, Alchemist, is he going to be able to break through? Dreadlord down to 162 hit points. Is the Death Knight does not have enough mana. The Dreadlord is down. Death Knight now retreats back here. Obsidian statues could offer a little bit of help here as there are two Obsidian statues and there's a healing spray as the Archmage well able to hide with that Cloak of Shadows. All right, units looking to retreat back again. Crypt Fiends perhaps can auto attack to take down this Slaughterhouse as we are going into Destroyer form. All right, so Destroyer form about to be done for the Slaughterhouse, but how much help is it going to be with an army of Riflemen out on the battlefield? All right, Death Knight still sitting at level 2. We're looking at the Dreadlord trying to get resurrected. Slaughterhouse is still cranking out more units. Perhaps more Crypt Fiends need to be added in as well. 35 supply compared to 43. The Arcane Tower is causing problems. 
Alchemist able to just continually use that healing spray and thereby giving the priest a little bit more mana um, for those long-term heals for any single focused down unit. A second slaughter or a second or, or what a third obsidian statue about to be trained the building could get taken down easily yes there it goes finally taken out as the units are now falling back again altar of darkness well it has been finished off dreadlord not getting resurrected or excuse me resurrected now at the tavern and that's going to be a long walk all the way back yumiko's tier two timing push with just a single arcane sanctum and a rifleman working extremely well especially with the introduction of the alchemist being able to keep this go wide army alive one destroyer here one obsidian statue slaughterhouse trying to get summoned back in and getting a little bit more mana a little bit more um well a little bit more mana and health for this fight would be beneficial but the dreadlord does have a potion of mana here are we going to see a little bit of damage get racked up against all of these towers as the units are pulling back dreadlord trying to retreat back here trying to get a little bit more mana there goes a death claw trying to fi uh, well, heal up some low hit point units as the units are now falling back again low hit point ghoul down to 75 hit points going to hang back once more 35 supply compared to 52 army sizes are rather um, rather well disparate uh, rather uh, uh, quite the disparity here as the Dreadlord falls back again. Are we going to look at a carry-on swarm? No easy pickoffs at all. We're looking at a little bit of Devour magic, perhaps from that, uh, that Water Elemental Destroyer. Does have a little bit of mana there. Dreadlord still looking to get to level 5, and level 5 could have a profound impact. New Crypt trying to get trained up here. Another Obsidian Statue out here on the battlefield to perhaps try to give some heals as the Rifleman, with their superior range right now, able to just continue to poke apart. Guard Towers are here as well. Dreadlord, well, accidentally walks in range of the Arcane Towers. Could have just tried and, well, lay down some damage against all of these units, especially these casters. But remember, the Alchemist still has plenty of mana for healing spray. All right. Skeletal Minion is not coming back out on the battlefield. Are we going to be looking at a push here? Uh, we are not destroyers. And, well, hanging out above the sign, uh, above the... Obsidian statues here, more meat or meat wagons not getting thrown into the mix. Perhaps they'll be able to perhaps draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and fight some damage here. Water Elemental is going to try and engage. There's a little bit of damage back already as both sides are pushing through. Oh, what is the Dreadlord doing? He went forward, getting arcane feedback again and down to 79. That is not what you want to be doing with your precious, precious mana. There's a little bit of Devour Magic and now a retrain to Blizzard as the Archmage able to retrain the Blizzard and is now throwing down and, and taking down this Black Citadel. All right, a, a complete retraining here and a timing attack by Yumiko completely catching 120 off guard. Dreadlord is just not using that his mana effectively could have taken down a couple of buildings already instead is tr i guess trying to push to level five for level three first but this is just not working out out, out at all rifleman could easily turn around finish off this meat wagon one or two quick shots there as the meat wagons are still well pushing damage through dreadlord still has a little bit of mana here but that is gonna be it a little bit of a of a sloppy game by yumiko when he was caught unaware of excuse me by 120 when he was caught unaware by yumiko's timing push and yumiko's timing push even with two or three um, t only two or three priests able to get the job done as the alchemist was doing the majority of the healing and a great job by yumiko just just maintaining and watching mana right keeping track of mana on all of those units there and well, being able to clean them all up let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below